mark my words from about now-ish to 2024 2027 we're gonna see a rise in cults a rise in extreme beliefs and ideas that will most likely get more extreme by like 2030. some ideas can turn out great however anything that is too much on one side of the spectrum is not sustainable so here are some ways to not end up in sticky situations one moment you're admiring the beauty of a flower and the next you're writing notes on a wall in human blood participating in 51 days of debauchery drinking questionable juices don't get caught slipping developing mental strength involves a combination of self-awareness emotional regulation critical thinking and intentional behaviors here are some ways you can maintain a strong mentality and not be easily influenced promote self-awareness through mindfulness practices Regular meditation, deep breathing exercises, and self-reflection helps you become attuned to your thoughts, emotions, and triggers. Mindfulness enables you to identify patterns of behavior and thought, allowing you to respond consciously rather than react impulsively. Define your values and beliefs. Clearly identify your core values and beliefs. Understanding what you stand for provides a solid foundation for decision making and helps you filter out external influences that don't align with your principles. Strengthen emotional intelligence. Develop emotional intelligence by recognizing and managing your emotions effectively. This skill enhances your ability to regulate emotional responses, preventing knee-jerk reactions influenced by external factors. Practice critical thinking. Sharpen your critical thinking skills by evaluating information critically, asking questions and seeking evidence. This prevents you from blindly accepting opinions and misinformation and allows you to make informed decisions. Set clear boundaries. Establish healthy boundaries in your personal and professional relationships. Clearly communicate your limits and protect your mental and emotional well-being by refusing to engage in activities or conversations that compromise your values. Cultivate confidence. How do you build confidence? Well, first of all, you wake up one morning and you tell yourself, you are that bitch. You are a bad bitch. And you can be male or female to be a bad bitch. It's not about gender or sex, it's about the energy. Just like I could have big dick energy and a male can have bad bitch energy. Okay, moving on from that. Build self-confidence by acknowledging your strengths, setting achievable goals, and celebrating your success. A confident mindset makes you less susceptible to what? External pressures. Building confidence can be difficult for some. I understand. So take your time recognizing your power. Embrace resilience. Resilience is the ability to bounce back from setbacks. Embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, allowing you to maintain a strong mentality even in difficult situations. Because that's when you get got, when you're most vulnerable, when you've been through some shit or when you're coming out of going through some shit. So remind yourself, if you're going through it or coming out of the wreckage of going through it, that you are resilient, that you will bounce back, and that all this has done for you has made you more wiser, gave you more experience and more information to use to continue thriving in your life. Practice empowerment. Empower yourself by taking ownership of your choices and actions. Recognize that you have the power to shape your own narrative and influence the course of your life. Decision-making skills. Enhance your decision-making skills by considering multiple perspectives, weighing pros and cons, and predicting potential outcomes. Confidence in your decision-making abilities reduces susceptibility to external influences. Limit exposure to negativity. Minimize exposure to negative influences, such as toxic relationships, sensationalized media, and social media platforms that foster comparison and self-doubt. Continuous learning. Commit to lifelong learning and self-improvement. Expand your knowledge, skills, and interest, which enhances your critical thinking abilities and broadens your perspective. Focus on personal growth. Prioritize personal growth and self-development. Challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone and embrace new experiences. Practice assertiveness. Learn to express your thoughts, needs, and opinions assertively. Now, there's a fine line between aggression and assertiveness, but you'll be able to see that line clearly if you speak to people as if you're speaking to a child. And no, I don't mean speaking down on people. I mean with compassion and kindness. Being assertive helps you advocate for yourself and ensures your choices align with your values. Reflect and adjust. 
assess your progress and make adjustments as needed. Self-awareness allows you to identify areas where you may have been influenced and take corrective action as needed. Creating and maintaining a strong mentality that resists influence is an ongoing journey that requires dedication and self-discipline. More on that here. Or is it here? More on that somewhere over here. By cultivating self-awareness, emotional intelligence, critical thinking, and assertiveness, you can fortify your mental strength and confidently navigate life's complexities while staying true to your values and core beliefs. Remember that building a strong mentality is a continuous process that empowers you to lead a fulfilling and purpose-driven life. If you enjoyed this, if it was helpful, please like this video. If you feel called to, subscribe. And if you want more information, click here for part two.